If you haven't been to the show, you'll understand it once you're there and you see it because it's beyond an explanation, it's beyond compare. She is an exotic blue merle Pomeranian wearing canine couture, does not get any better. The New York Pet Fashion Show started about 16 years ago. Our show is very unique and very special. Some of the most amazing designers in the world come in from around the world to be a part of our show. They're all custom couture, covered in Swarovski crystals and a lot of beadwork. This is me to the fashionista. We had somebody here from Morocco yesterday, Italy. People say love is the international language. No, pets are the international language. I am also a pet fashion designer myself. I come from a line of seamstress and I thought, let me try making something for my little dog. That's how it all started. When Greg and I started talking about this, we thought at that time it was gonna be just dogs. <laughs> but through the years, it has evolved. Every year, we have approximately 150 dogs. We get a bearded lizard here and there. We get a dwarf miniature horse. Two years ago, we had Lady Gaga and Beyonce, horse and rescue chickens. About 75 to 80 pets are in the runway shows, but you get another 100 people that come that bring their pets with them. The most rewarding part for me is the animal rescue. We use this as a platform to advocate for animals in need. There were four or five dogs up there last night that had wheelchairs. It's a testament to what pets mean to people's lives now. The transformation of dogs being something that you had that sat in the backyard to these family members that people spend as much as they do on their kids and sometimes more. I happen to be a bit of an Anglophile. I watched the wedding of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and I just all of a sudden phew, this idea clicked in my head. Princess Meghan Markle and Harry Prince of Tales. I now pronounce you loving partners for life. Sniffing and licking is now permitted. We had the Queen Mother, Palace Guard, three bridesmaids, one was Maid of Honor, Ify, which is on a wheelchair. This adorable disabled dog who is rescued, it just warms your heart. Their outfits were authentic replicas, including the crown that the dog had. Can you imagine the work that goes into that? So our first place best in show winner for 2019. The one thing that is constant is our best in show. The energy and electricity that's in the show, we love. The whole show is just amazing. Every outfit is better than the other. Just the wow factor. What I like to call the bling. Outfits is just the superficial thing, but then it goes deeper into good health care, good nutrition, helping create awareness. Yeah. Dream big and small. <laughs>